The Museum of Riverside turns 100 this year. Join us throughout 2024 to celebrate our centennial with 100 programs throughout the city of Riverside and virtually. Like this video. Happy International Day of Education! This date, observed every year since 2019 on January 24th, is dedicated to honoring education and how important structured learning is for global peace and sustainable development. Here at the Museum of Riverside, we value education for all ages, especially the kind that happens outside of the classroom. To honor the International Day of Education, we want to remember Alice Rowan Johnson, an educator who was an important person in Riverside history. Alice was born in 1868. That's 156 years ago. Her mother, Elizabeth or Lizzie Rowan, was an enslaved person in her early years. Lizzie valued education and knew how important it would be for her children's success. America was quickly changing in the 1860s. After the Civil War, education for Black Americans could be inconsistent and even unavailable in many parts of the country. But why do we remember Alice? Alice was one of the first Black students at the State Normal School in Los Angeles, a teacher training college. She graduated with honors in 1888 in a class of 68 students. State Normal School principal Ira Moore, in his recommendation, spoke of her as a young lady of excellent character in morals and manners, and we confidently recommend her to districts which are liberal enough to overlook the question of color, as one to make an eminent success at the school in which she is employed. After graduation, Alice taught in San Bernardino and was later hired by the Riverside School District to teach at the Trujillo School. A pioneer is a person who is one of the first to do something, and Alice was definitely a pioneer. She was the first African-American teacher in Riverside. Being the first can often mean that others can look at your example and feel brave enough to follow. Today, we remember Alice for her work as a teacher, but also as an example of educational success. Thanks, Alice. For more information about the museum's 100th anniversary celebration, please see the link in the comments below.